Already on Create, we've shown you how you can stretch lettering on a word processor. Now we're going to expand on this technique now um, with pictures. I've got a picture here of David and I'm going to grab the sides and just squash his head in this way and grab this side and squash his head in this way and then you print it out. So like this, his face looks long and thin but if I hold it down here, he looks his beautiful self. Take a look at these pictures. These aren't simply about how you stretch them, it's all about the way that you look at them. I'll show you what I mean. We take this and you make it into a perfect cone shape, you'll end up with something that looks a bit more like that. And if you do the same kind of thing with this picture here, but make it into a pyramid, you'll get something that looks a bit more like that. This kind of image distortion is called anamorphosis. The expert on this is this guy. His name is Dr. Philip Kent. And if we want to see what this good Dr. Kent actually looks like, we need to take this picture, go like this, and I've got some mirror card, which I'll roll up. Which was rolled nice and tight. And we look at it like this. There he is. You can download programs to do this free off the internet. We've got our light bulb here from uh, Create, and click on there and the program does it. It's as simple as that. So I'm just going to check it out, make sure it looks okay. And then we print it out. Dave, have a look at that. You just take your mirror card, put it on top and there's our lovely logo.